the following table on point 12, you can see that we've structured our maturities that are coming out between April and May. And the total of 52.5 million is coming up and it gives us the option to refinance and make use of the lower interest rates while we can lock that in. Um, the printout that you've got, unfortunately, your reports can come up black and we will send this out to you again. But the printout you have essentially shows that while we refinance this, the cost of debt will essentially move and you can see the long term effect of refinancing and all that dropping that might be lying on there. Also, just to note that um, by refinancing it, in the way that we proposed here. You can see the structure on page 13, it starts to even out a lot more, maximizing the rates that we are capturing. Point 16, just to highlight the really strong balance sheet that we have, the cash investments at the moment is 36.02. So we are holding a really strong balance sheet at this stage and the splits is uh, divided between general and social requirements. That brings us to the detailed report and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you very much. Any questions from the floor? Councillor Booth? No, I, I assume there's a uh, yes, rates come in in the quarter and just sort of fluctuates. Yes. Yes, they do. So by locking in some of that uh, funding because of the maturity profile that we have, it does give us the opportunity to lower that weighted average cost at the time. And um, in the point 12 where some of these are coming to maturity, so we can restart some of those arrangements. So that's why April may have a really good opportunity to refinance. So the, the, we did have some of the quality Correct, yes. In the past, we've had some very high levels of um, financing, somewhere up to 4%. So, re locking it at, um, you can see the lower rates at 1.8% of things and uh, reflects back into that graph of lowering the size as we go. Thank you. Any further questions? So, I'd like to begin the moving of that report. Thank you, Councillor Gilchrist and Councillor Oliver. All those in favour? Aye. 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 So moved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very forward. Um, so moving to 7.2, Capital Works Programme Dashboard. And Lily's coming forward to speak to that. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will take the report as read. I just would like to add one comment um, on point six of the report. It outlines that um, the graph that shows the capital expenditure um, up to date was provisional for the month of March. Um, the financials for the month of March have not been closed. And I'm pleased to report that um, while the graph is showing a total capital expenditure of 31 million, we know at 33.6 million. Um, so that's um, a significant increase. And I guess um, both the graph on the left hand side of the dashboard and the list of projects that are either currently on construction or that have been recently awarded show that um, there is, we're continuing to work at pace here. Um, a lot of work that's um, ongoing or about to start. And I'll take any questions that you may have. Thanks. Um, um, Mr. Chair, supplementary. I, I think um, just got to reinforce how well the organisation as a whole is doing. That the green uh, line on the graph shows and really updated that to thirty three point six. So it's a nine month mark. We've spent more of this financial year than we've done in any other financial year on a capital basis. So and and you see then on the on the schedule on the right hand side of page a number uh, thirty seven. 37 um, there's a list of work groups I've done. So, if any of those uh, similar projects hits 100%, we take off the list, but that's completed. Uh, but I'd refer to the bottom part of the list where contracts recently awarded will be evaluated. So, since the last meeting, uh, you know, there's another $9 million worth of work that's been awarded. 
and just this morning the tenders and procurement committee met and have let the road maintenance contract and over the next five years with another $18 million worth of work in that contract. And I raise that because whilst we are doing really well this year and we're, we're really making great progress, we're also setting ourselves up for next year to do and, and the year after to be doing really well um, as well because you know, we've got to get this year's done and, and, and we're getting great on that. But we've also got to you know, get next year and the year after. We're not one year wonders yet. And so we're setting that up and there's a lot of work that's being left for future years. And we expect by the end of June to be somewhere like 55% of next year's capital work program, program to be already contracted. And that, you know, that, that is really good. And so what you see here is great, but it's going to get here. Any discussion? Questions? I have some money. Do you want to have a second there? Mr. Hill, Chris, all those in favour? Aye. Uh, <coughs> Against, don't move. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Lord. Fantastic. <coughs> okay, someone would like to move us into public exclusion. Thank you, Councillor Lyons, and a second to Councillor Booth. All those in favour, so moved. Um, 